Hi, I'm Valina. Welcome to my channel, or welcome back, and we're in my bedroom again. I'm gonna have to start putting to you some more of my background that I made. But I have a guest, and as I said, I've said that before in my videos, it's a male guest, um, we're friends, he sleeps on, it, on the couch, and I usually film in the living room. I wanted to talk about The Conjuring 3. Okay, um... Uh, I had a hard time getting HBO Max connected. Uh, then I finally did. On Friday, I finally did. And I've watched this movie, well, with full concentration, twice. And my friend watched it with me. And I was kind of back and forth. But at least um, twice now. Hmm. What to say, what to say. I wanted to love this. We waited for so long. And I guess I didn't say it. Uh, this is directed by... And I hope uh, some people have been getting after the way people are pronouncing the director's name. I hope I say it right. Please don't come at me if I didn't. Michael Chavez. Um, he was the same director of uh, The Curse of La Llorona. Okay, so I'm not going to I know James Wan is awesome. I know that. But I'm not going to blame it on the director. Um, no. Um, but I didn't dislike it. I was entertained by it. But I guess I was a little disappointed because... Okay, the way it starts out... I should have said this is going to be spoiler-free. Uh, it starts out with a bang. I mean, there really is no build-up. And, I mean, it starts in a movie with Ed and Lorraine uh, already at the Gatso. I think I'm saying their name right. The Gatso family. And having prayer for the little boy, David, who um, is possessed. And it kind of jumps. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be the same night or what, but... A priest shows up, and that's when all H-E double hockey sticks break loose. Uh, I, I think in the real story, he had been having, like, these attacks, I guess if you want to call them. Um, it went on for quite a while. But anyway, the priest shows up, and they get on with the exorcism. And you probably already know this part of it. Uh... His, David, the boy that's possessed, his sister, Debbie, her boyfriend is staying there. He's been staying there to help out with him. He's his, you know, little buddy, and he hates to see him go through this. And he does something you shouldn't do is stupid. He, you don't do this. He tells it to take him on, and it does. And that is kind of went through pretty fast. Um, of course, they, they try to plead, um, demonic possession. That doesn't apply in court. But, okay, um, I guess, I knew they said this wouldn't be like a haunted house movie. Like we've seen in, uh, the first two. And I will, let me make this clear, that I do know this. I do know they took liberties, and this is not, nothing against the Warrens. I was very fascinated by the Warrens. You know, I like them. A lot of people don't, you know, I guess to each uh, his own. But I like them. I mean, and I was fascinated by their stories. But, um, anyway, I do know, um, this is just fact, that The Conjuring 1, I, I do know that it was fabricated, in case you didn't know that. Actually, they didn't have as much to do with the Perron family as what you see in the movie. And I think they had even less to do, if I'm not mistaken, in The Conjuring 2, with the infield haunting. And, but this was a case they had worked. You know, and I, I guess I expected more for that reason. But, okay, it... Okay, as I was saying, okay, after, after Arnie challenges the, uh, the demon... It leaves David. And then it does go into him. And he does go on to kill somebody. 
Arnie does. And he's a very sweet-natured guy. He was not aggressive at all. And you probably know all this already. But it turns out to be... It's connected to the possession. But it feels like it goes into another story about a curse and a, a satanic cult. And it's probably around... It's around 3 o'clock right now. I don't know if I should be talking about this on Sunday morning. Um, but... Ed and, Lor and, Lor and oh, Ed has a heart attack. I don't think that's a spoiler. That's been said before in a non-spoiler uh, review I watched. Uh, he does have a heart attack, and I know he did have a heart attack, but I don't, I don't think it was around that time. I could be wrong on that, but anyway, after he gets out of the hospital, you know they're still fighting for Arnie, and but it goes on. They find something that leads them to a curse. And they're investigating, because there's been murders here. And they're investigating this. And, and I pro of course, I have to say, um, like I said, the director is uh, Michael Chavez. And I can't think of all the actors. I wasn't familiar with all of them. All the acting was great. And I especially love uh, Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. They are amazing. Their, their chemistry as Ed and Lorraine. I really love them. But, uh, oh, I wanted to really like it. I didn't hate it. I didn't even dislike it. But, it just felt sort of confusing to me. That, I know it was connected. It's supposed to be connected. In the movie, it's supposed to be connected to what brought on the possession. But, it's about a witch and... A curse and a satanic cult murders that they investigate. And yes, it does show scenes with Arnie and Debbie and then you see David some more. But didn't stay with the bit. Maybe that's what I missed about it. Like uh, uh, in the first one, you know, in the movie now, they actually stayed with, you know, were there to help. The Peron family in the movie. And same for Enfield in the movie. And we were drawn to the families. And this was just, this went another direction to me. And like I said, you know, the acting was great. And like I said, I'm being repetitive, but I can't give enough praise to uh, Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga. They have amazing chemistry together. But I didn't feel this way the way I did the other two. I'm sorry. I, I wanted to. I really did. But, you know, um, but I would say out of a rating from one to ten, I would give it a six and a half. Okay. But, you know, it's not a bad movie. Um, some people have said it's that it's not scary. I, I will disagree with that. There are very creepy moments. In the story they go into, what they're investigating, there are creepy things. And of course, you've got your exorcism scenes. And that to me is anytime is creepy. So, you know, just watch it for yourself. Um, it's, uh, I thought I was going to have to go to a theater to see it. It's in theaters, some theaters that are open, carrying it. I was kind of nervous about doing that because um, this thing isn't completely over. I, I know things might be better, but I'm high risk anyway by having congestive heart failure. So, my, I, I started and I began to think I wasn't able to get HBO Max in, but I got it in. And that's just, that's how I watched it. But, Hey, you know, it's only like 14 something, a little over $15 um, with HBO Max if you want to check it out. You know, you can watch it. There's no extra charge. But I am going to give, and now this is not a spoiler. Um, I feel like I should tell you this. You may not pay attention to it, or you. You may be like I am and. Don't want to be subjected to it. Or you could be fascinated by it. 
and this is not a spoiler. After the movie has concluded and everything has happened. I feel like I should put this warning out there because it kind of was slipped up on me. Okay, after that, of course, you know, they usually in these, they show pictures and stuff and like clips of interviews and stuff like that. One thing they put in that creeped me out. In fact, the second time I watched it, I turned it down. And when I was watching with my friend, well, now last night, Saturday night, I, I just went on to another area where I wouldn't hear it. They put what is supposed to be uh, the actual audio of the little boy David's possession. And that just, I don't feel comfortable listening to that kind of thing. It creeps me out, you know. It Fictional is one thing, I mean, well, I did have a hard time. I was way into adulthood before I could watch The Exorcist. But, you know, I finally told myself, yes, I know it's based off a true story, but... I tell myself, you know, that's Linda Blair and just bad, ugly makeup. I mean, she's a very pretty girl. And, yeah, they made her look like a monster. And, you know, I tell myself that. But when it comes to it being real, uh, cause I've tried before to watch other things. and I can't do it. It just freaks me out. But, yeah, you know, and um, I don't know. I still say, you know, I think it has its scares. I think it's creepy. It it just didn't have the same feeling to me. But yet it is entertaining. So, I don't know what else to say. Um, but that's my, I, I have been looking so forward to this. And I'm a little disappointed. But, it, I mean, it's okay. I mean, I'm a big fan of the controversy. Controversy, yeah. Uh, I know all the spinoffs haven't been great. I, I may do a ranking on the whole thing sometime. But, anyway. You may disagree with me. Because other people, you know, I've watched non-spoiler videos. Um, some, I think it was it the UK got it before us, I think. And the and people that went to early showings. Some kind of felt like I did. And, you know... And others have enjoyed it. So, you never know. It, it, everybody's different. So, give it a watch. It's worth a watch, definitely. So, I'm going to get what little makeup all, uh, I have on off and go to bed. Like I said, it's around 3 o'clock in the morning here. I just felt like filming now. And uh, I, I appreciate you uh, watching this. And if you enjoyed this review, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, if, you'd if you'd like to subscribe, I'd love that. Um, comment. Put, if you've seen it, your thoughts, what you thought about it, in the comments. I, I'd, I'd love to discuss it. But no, I didn't dislike it. But it just, it's my least favorite of the trilogy. But, you know, like I said, good acting. And I always... Great seeing um, Patrick Wilson, of course, and uh, Vera Farmiga. I've seen them in other things, and I like them anyway. And, I mean, as Ed and Lorraine Warren in these Conjuring movies, they are really good together. Their chemistry is great, so you got to love that. So, I'm going to go, and uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you again soon. Bye.